Hello, I'm Stephen Escheba, and here to tell you a little bit about Boltzmann probability densities. So what's the Boltzmann probability density? Well, it's a curve that tells you uh, the likelihood of finding a particle, a gas particle, uh, going at a certain velocity component. What's a velocity component? Well, it could be going in the, in the x direction, we would be talking about that, or in the z direction, or in the y direction. You just imagine a particle going, uh, you know, have some, some combination of those velocity components. The idea behind this curve, um, the density function itself is, 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 is given by this symbol F sub B, and the idea is that, um, that it's most likely to be going uh, at this, at this at zero, actually, in the x or y, in, in the x direction. And then it's got these wings saying that it might be going really fast to the right or really fast to the left. Um, what if, the, what if the temperature of this, of this gas that we're thinking about uh, were uh, higher, let's say? Well, you'd expect the wings to get bigger and uh, something like that, okay? Now, I've drawn this in such a way that um, the total area under the curve is still one. That's why I had to squash it down a little bit. And uh, the reason for that is that uh, the Boltzmann density um, is, uh, is what we call normalized, that is to say, um, the chances of finding going some speed has to all add up uh, to one. Okay, so that's uh, mathematically what this first condition is. It's a normalization condition. Uh, the area under the curve has to has to integrate out to one. So that's one. Um, there is a particular form to the Boltzmann uh, probability density, and it's given by this. There's a normalization constant that determines how high it is. And sort of the shape of it is given by this Gaussian function, so n, n, n d, or, or constants um, that uh, pertain to a particular gas at a particular temperature. Okay, so it's a Gaussian. Um, other things that we can we can do with this function is we can we can use it to calculate what are called the moments. So, for example, the first moment is just the average of that um, that that velocity component. What is the average? velocity component. And the way you get at it um, uh, mathematically is to say I'm going to integrate from minus infinity to plus infinity because that's the range of Vx. Uh, I'm going to take Vx times that uh, Boltzmann uh, uh, probability density. And the number that I get out of it will be just the average uh, x component velocity. What if I wanted the mean of the square of that quantity well, um, that's designated this way. It's the mean of the square of Vx. That's very simple. You just take that same integral that we just did, but put a square in front of the Vx, still multiplying by Fb, integrate over, over all the space. Same thing goes for the third moment, the fourth moment, etc. We would just add uh, greater exponents there. Finally, um, one thing that we can, it's, very, it's useful to use these uh, probability densities for is to actually calculate probabilities. Um, the probability, let's say, of going between one speed and some and some other speed, and uh, um, graphically, what it is is it's the area between two different speeds that you might be interested in. So let's suppose I was interested in, uh, you know, uh, the speed that this molecule is, is is going between, you know, that point here, which we'll call v x, and that point there, which I'll call v x prime. What's the probability that I'm going to find a molecule going uh, in those speeds? Well, it's just given by that area, which, as we've already said, since the total area is 1, this has to be a fraction. I can multiply by 100 to get a percentage. Yeah, and uh, uh, usually this is a little bit uh, maybe difficult to, to get exactly, but an approximate way of doing it would be go to the midpoint, take the height, okay, and then uh, and then multiply it by the width. So the height, which is Fb at that particular point, times the width, which would be the interval that you're interested in, that's going to be about equal to that probability. Okay.